In this video you will see how to troubleshoot RTWP of DBS3900. After login to DBS3900 check current alarms of DBS3900. If there is no active alarms then check the alarm history. For alarm history click on option query alarm event log. For checking number of alarm results you can put a value up to 1000 in option maximum number of results and click query to show you the alarm history. Then double click on alarm a small window will open which will show you the detail of sub rack number cabinet number and slot number at which alarm raised or which sub rack alarm is repeating. In this small window you will see alarm type the alarm raised on which sub rack number slot number and cabinet number. As you know we are troubleshooting alarm of DBS3900 in DBS sub rack number changes of RIU sector wise and cabinet and slot number remains same. Here we are checking RTWP alarm how many times it repeat at this technology and at which sub rack number and at which RX channel number. Now you can see the sub rack number 60 and RX channel number 0. RX channel number 0 means spot A of RRU while RX channel number 1 means spot B of RIU. Here 6 alarms of RTWP is shown in history of alarms. Therefore we will check every alarm details that all alarms are raised on same sector same RX channel number or different. Now click on monitor for checking RTWP value status. After exploring Java then click on board RTWP option. Then type 60 in sub rack number option as alarm of RTWP is raised on sub rack 60 and submit it for checking of RTWP value status. As you are seeing that the values are fluctuates little at this time. Here you can see the graph of RTWP values. Now we will check parameters like power attenuation RTWP initial values are changed by someone or not. Here you can see no one changed the parameters. All values are same now we will check the VSWR value of sub rack 60. As you can see there is difference between the values of channel number 0 and channel number 1. Now we will check again the VSWR value if the value of VSWR increases or decreases it means there is a fault in jumper cable or in jumper connector. Here you can see the value decrease to from 128 to 127 it means that jumper cable or jumper connector is faulty. 
Now we will change jumper cable at RIU port A of sub rack 60. After changing jumper at port A of RRU we will check the value of VSWR. Now you can see the value of VSWR after changing jumper cable. Here you can see the value decreased from 128 to 107 after changing jumper cable. Now we will check the RTWP value status. Now here you can see the values is not fluctuates nor increasing or decreasing. Here you can see the values in list option of RTWP. In chart option you can see the graph of RTWP values. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Delta Telecom for informative videos.